unironically, all right? Because if you look at the top sellers on Steam, Hogwarts right now is on number two. And this is after the phenomenal Herculean effort of activists on Reddit, on Twitter, in order to ask other people to boycott this game, in order to change the tags of this game and say that uh, it has capitalism, promotes genocide, right? Turns out that uh, this was a really great seller. Uh, th this is what the American people want. Uh, all jokes aside, though, you know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of when I grew up and you had all these Christian moral busybodies that were like, oh my god, the game Doom. Oh, Mortal Kombat. Oh, don't play Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat is, is dangerous. It teaches people to do violence. And the more they whined and bitched about it, the, the more Mortal Busybodies came, the more I wanted to play that game. Just because it wasn't allowed. It was like one of those people on 4chan, which uh, go on the character AI website, where you can't do not safe for work. So they're role-playing fetishes they don't have. Just to show that, you know what? It's about sending the message. But, um... It's the same situation here, really. Now you got, you got... The, these are the modern busybodies. Like, it's got nothing to do with the game. You're not even hurting J.K. Rowling financially. J.K. Rowling, like, he's not going to do anything against the trans community. Like, she's one woman. Like, who cares? Right? But you got the moral busybodies. That are on the scene. And they're trying their best in order to make this game fail. And what's interesting is that I remember when I was growing up, Fox News made a lot of reporting against video games, especially GTA. It was almost like a monthly thing that Fox News would complain about GTA. And then it turns out that Rockstar, the company which made GTA, paid Fox News in order to make those segments. Because they understood that that's what sells. Like, if you have a couple of people who are culturally disliked because they're moral busybodies and, and they talk negative about your product, that is more likely to sell your product. In fact, if they would have paid money to Fox News to promote it, I think it would have sold less. But because, like, Fox News was against it, people are like, oh, you know what? I hate moral busybodies. If they don't like this game, maybe there's something to it. And by the way, you know, Hogwarts actually looks like a good game. So it's not just the activists that are pushing it. But it does look like a good game, and um, there haven't been that many which came out. Especially if it's coming out on February 10th, right? So it's next month. It's a drought of games, there, there's nothing else to compete with it. I can see why people are buying it, yeah. But I can also see a lot of people who are claiming on Twitter that they are buying it specifically. Because it's a capitalist game. And it promotes genocide. Let me know what you guys think though, and I'll see you in the comment section. Take care.